Whoa, dino oil for your Ford service. Wow. Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. Hi, and welcome to another tour of Hawaiian Shirt Papas. This time it's of the Southworks Antiques. They're also paired up with Nostalgia Inc. You'll see that part later. So this is the one entrance and this is a sign in the window. It goes into a mall area where there's uh, office spaces upstairs and uh, daycare and some other stuff. But this is the entrance area for the at the mall. So this is what you're actually going to see when you're walking in. This is the other side. This is the side that faces the river. And there you see the Nostalgia and Company and the Southworks sign. So these windows here are actually the antique portion. Most of the stuff that you see from the mall side is actually the Nostalgia stuff. Anyway, here we are, we're about to go in. And we are going to go in. It's laid out and it has a grid, but it's not so straightforward. Anyway, I I tried to get to everything that I can so you could have a good chance of seeing what kind of items they have in this place. So here we are. We're taking a good look. This is uh, could have been divided, I suppose, but most of my other ones when in, with antique places, they're at least this long. So you're getting a, a good length here. Some, some Petroliana, they've got some ephemera they've got some books lots of uh oh license plates here and uh you'll see all a whole variety of items being offered here from furniture and so on this one's got glass and ceramics is this yeah no loitering sign sure <laughs> i think that's for sale or not as an instruction. Some uh, vintage uh, items there from the mid-century. Here we've got, uh, I don't think those are LPs. No, these are ephemera. Like um, chosen advertisements from within magazines. Sometimes it's the whole magazine, depending on which they feel they could well, sometimes they just were only able to save a certain portion of the magazine. And all this uh, silver tin kind of stuff. And those are some more ephemera. Here we are, we're moving right along in here. This one's got a large collection of different glasses and Look like some Tupperware there too. I guess there's somebody for that stuff too. There's all kinds of different things that people collect and go looking for. Who am I to argue? I'm not going to be judgmental on that kind of stuff, that's for sure. Here we go, here we go. Kind of tried to take a look. Some booths were kind of empty. Possibly they were either moving or moving in or moving out. Don't much care. Um, these look like complete sets in some of these uh, cubicles. And it looks like they may have had some, some do toys, vintage toys there. And here we are. They do have... Uh, washrooms within the facility. There's your gargoyle uh, oil for mobile service. And uh, here we go. Books, LPs are in some places. A, a lot of places have got, uh, this one's got original artwork from the looks of it. 
Um, a lot of places have got glass and ceramic. Then there's other places that have got lots of uh, furniture. There's there's complete beds. There are some vintage uh, amusement park rides. You just can't forecast what you're going to come across. Original artworks there. Some here's a clothing booth. And boots, ooh, footwear. So you get to see quite a bit of different stuff in here. Um, the ent from the entrance, they have a diagonal main aisle that goes to the back corner, and all of these side aisles go off of it but they're varying lengths because they go through the the diagonal goes di diagonally through a square and um, if you're trying to do it just as a normal grid pattern it doesn't quite work In any case it's it's very well organized here this place uh, moved from its previous location just a few blocks away, uh, but the, the building got, went into a different purpose. It's been refurbished and uh, I think it's uh, associated with a, a educational institution. So they've got vintage clothing, they've got old, very old clothing. Ah uh, uh, yes, here's the one. This one, they actually had to have a sign to warn uh, potential buyers that AM radio station signals do not penetrate into this level of the store. So, being tube type, he also had to have instructions that tube type radios take a little while to warm up. Some of them take longer than others. Uh, they had more than just radios, they had... Um, I saw a microphone with a stand on it there as well. So they've got all the recording equipment. Well, maybe not all, but they had some recording equipment. Ah, small statuary. Here's some uh, MCM booth. And you get some of the more casual furniture. And there's a lot of different stuff, things in these, in these different booths. All the way from clothing to jewelry. It all depends on what you're looking for as to whether or not you find what you're looking for. Um, glass, ceramics, they're often in these places and there are so many different variations and such that you need to have a lot of different ones being offered to be able to find the exact one that you're potentially looking for. So here we go. Here's one that's got more oh automotive automotive ephemera and license plates there. Some furniture and fabrics. Furniture, clothing and fabrics, and some more and more. It just keeps going. There are a lot of different booths in here, some of which uh, have a window, most do not. And some of the, uh, the, the riverside facing boat windows, they're actually set up more like a, a showcase. They may have taken some of the nicer items. I noticed that there was some that had some mid-century modern amoeba shaped uh, multi-tier stand. Uh, that was a curiosity to see and each of the levels was a different color arborite. With atomic pattern of course. Oh, there's some things that you don't very often see. A cart, 
There's one of the jewelry booths with some small statuary. Some of these folks, they put them in the locked cabinets, which is understandable. Some of these items have a uh, higher value than others, so. And some of them are very fragile on top of it. A couple of pair of chairs there. That's, pairs are less often found, so that's, uh, that's an interesting catch. That's the main aisle. And you can see how the uh, side aisles are a bit of an angle. Uh, one of these store ride for a nickel a dime quarter. And there's the amoeba stand. Classic items here. This is set up like a room in this case. I'm not sure if it's being. Um, it's a featured booth, if I remember right. So they get this space on a temporary basis, I guess. Because uh, it's their turn. I'm not sure exactly how that works. dramatically in their size. Here's some more of the items that are in the showcase window. There's a complete bed. Um, the width was width and length I couldn't I can't tell you offhand. Might have been a twin, it might have been a bit bigger than a twin. And here we go. Lots to see, lots to see, folks. This is just a quick look through. Nice old door without glass. Some vintage clothes there. Now we're going into the other part of it, which is the Nostalgia and Company. Um, you can look them up as a separate website. Same entrance, because they're in the same physical en entrance as the uh, South Works is. This is their part of the sign. And when you, just as you're entering from the mall, they're on the left side. They sell, besides what we're gonna show you, they also have candy and drinks. So they sell brand new appliances, but done in a retro, in a retro theme. They tell you which model it is and what year that design was out. And then they have a few other things in there. Then you continue and they've got reproduction signs. They've got clothes that would go with that. So if you're trying to do just decorations and not worrying about the actual being an antique, then this is the place to go. So you can actually get a Red refrigerator, for example. French door with the lower freezer. They never made them that way, but they styled it that way. So even though even that payphone there was a touch tone. So you have a 
bit of a different thing going here. It fits in with the antiques, although it's not out in take. The designs are old or vintage, but um, the objects themselves are not true vintage. They're just re reproductions. They're very good looking reproductions in my humble opinion. Well, we hope you're uh, satisfied in watching this one. Hope you subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and uh, maybe even a dingle on the bell so you get notified of the next, uh, next video. Thanks. Bye-bye.